So the people who aren't really familiar with you right now, um, they need to get familiar because you are associated with 50 Cent. Yeah, yeah. Big shout out to the boss, man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's G-Note Records. You know you know G-Unit. Mm-hmm. Um, then he <clears throat> he created G-Note, which is for the other genres. You right. know what I'm saying? So like G- an R&B type. Yeah, like an R&B, like, you know, like a... Dance. Like for DJs, for right. like for, you know, a dance artist, for whoever, you know what I'm saying, other than the aggressive gangster music that uh, G-Unit usually puts out. So it just makes more sense, man. So, um, you know, and they're definitely, uh, you know, I'm the first artist on G-Note. Uh, Governor is also signed. Okay. And, um, you know, definitely looking for artists too, so. Absolutely. And you know what? It's, he's pushing you, you know what I mean? And yeah. the last time 50 got behind something, uh, Vitamin Water, I think, was pretty successful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 100 milli. I mean, he he tweeted you today promoting the record yeah so i mean he's not taking the approach where he's like i mean i feel like you've proven yourself a little bit to him where he's giving you some credibility where he's willing to put himself a little bit on the line yeah man like he you know he's excited Mm -hmm. you know he's excited because it's something new it's not it's like he sees the potential in it it's different yeah definitely different and you know he hears the music he looks at the top 10 on billboard and he sees what's what's on there you Mm -hmm. know he sees the lmfao and Enrique Iglesias and, you know, Jennifer Lopez. It's, what's, it's just what's working It's right what's now. popping, you know right. what I'm saying? So uh, my music, my album sounds similar to that, but, you know, we have our own spin on it. Right. And he has a star power to, to, to break an artist, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's an investment for him. You're waiting for 50's album too, right? I mean, a lot of us are waiting for 50's album. Yeah, he got he got... He he got some things going on. That's, he's got some things. Dude, we've been waiting for for years. Yeah, yeah. You know, but you know that whole drama that he's going through. Yeah. Just, just with the label. You know, I was reading some of the tweets. It's just it's just politics, man. Right. And you know, hopefully we get that in the fourth quarter. So you are pushing a new record. Yeah. It's called Hot Girl. Hot Girl. Why can't it be plural and hot girls? Hot. Like, we got to get new. We got to get the plural yeah, action we, going. We got to personalize it though for yes. the ladies. You know what I'm saying? So you know, if I <laughs> right. say hot girls, they they don't feel special. And this is something that's going to get you a lot of coins, which is one of the many of retarded slang yeah, words man, that I'm, you and your crew roll around. Getting the coins, with. man. I you know I'm, I'm a professional <laughs> coin collector. Yes. You know, and uh, you know I go out to the club every night to to collect coins, and um, you know all, all of you out here out there listening, you all have coins that I would like to have. For myself. So, you know, when we meet, I would like to get a coin from you. You know, just help me out. You know what I'm saying? You're going around asking for change? Uh, no, not necessarily, but not change. Okay, the coins, coins is like a Mario Brothers reference. You have to explain <laughs> to people, dude. Like, people are thinking you're, no, like, asking for change, dude. But it's dude. mysterious. It's mysterious. But it's not asked for change, and it has nothing to do with money. Right. But I like to collect coins. So you, does you guys Mario Brothers, and that's You'll where the whole out. reference. Yeah, yeah, you guys will figure it out. Okay. And so Hot Girl is a new track. Got a chance to listen to it today. Um, banger. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Man. It's going to do really well, especially with the sound that is out right now. Yeah. It's mellow, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a it's a feel-good record, mm-hmm. and um, I know all the ladies are going to like it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's therefore, really all, that matters, all the honest. guys are going to like it, because right. when it comes on the club, all the ladies gonna, exactly coins. The thing, the thing, and then there's the just gonna ding, be ding. coins flying all around the dance floor. And <laughs> I'm not a fan of that, dude. I'm cool with the whole making it rain thing. I'm cool with dollar bills, not freaking quarters. Hey, look, coins are more valuable than dollar bills. What the hell are you talking about? I'm telling man? you, I'm telling you, it's coins. But fifty didn't teach you that. I know that. But I'm telling you, the, the dollar bills are monetary. The coins aren't. For the people that aren't familiar with your sound, kind of give them just the general perspective of what that is. Yeah, well, you know. I, you know, my, my, my foundation is hip hop. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, but for me traveling and, uh, you know, I've been to over 20, 25 countries and perform, you know, me, Dolo. Um, I just got influenced by house music, techno, you know what I'm saying, electro, the, the up tempo, you know, high energy sound. You know what I'm saying? I, I just partied. I was getting drunk and chilling with girls and, and just and this music was the soundtrack to my whole worldwide tour. You right. know what I'm saying? So when I came back to uh record, mm-hmm. I was just so deep into that mentally, like my whole music just changed. You know what I'm saying? But when you hear my content, it's still hip hop based. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I still you know use my slang. It's not <clears throat> it's not just candy pop, but it's kinda like a fusion between the worldly music, the international pop sound the dance sound mm-hmm. mixed with hip hop well that's what's working right now in yeah. the US where it, like I said the Afro Jacks <clears throat> the David Guetta's the LMFAO's these are huge records right yeah. now so I think if you're picking a lane 
Yeah, the yeah. Right lane to go to. You look at uh, what Party Rock was was like number, number one, one, and for give, weeks. Give, give Me Everything was number two, and are they kind of going number back and forth? Number one as well. Give Me Everything was number one. Favorite records, man. Favorite records, and and that's the type. Those are the type of records that uh, you know, I'm going with. But I I feel like I'm in that lane, mm-hmm. but I have a different way that I approach records. Like you know, Pitbull, you know, he's, you know, he just kind of just raps over it you know what i'm saying and i kind of like i do more melodies you know you might hear me singing you might hear me you know rapping you might hear me chanting you know like i have i have a different ways i attack beats so right kind of a different lane i'm carving for. i i still need to talk 50 with you mm-hmm. explain your relationship with 50 because i mean how not how he really discovered you but what kind of relationship do you have with 50 where you feel like he's not going to leave you high and dry he's just going to tweet you a couple times and you're yeah. like dude if it doesn't work you've fallen off nah well, you, you know the relationship with him is you know he's like my big bro obviously mm-hmm. he's my boss and he has so much confidence in, in the project because he's heard all mm-hmm. the music and you know my album pretty right. much you know what I'm saying and so that's what got him so excited because he knows there's so many different hits on it it's not just one record. You know what I'm saying? When you only have one song that, it's, that excites you, and then the rest of the songs are like, nah. It's mediocre. Then you just go like this. If this doesn't work, then there's nothing else to fall back on. Then that's kind of how people get dropped and right. things like that happen. But So he's heard over, I want to say, 20 to 30 records that he's like, these are crazy. He's going to mess with you. So he's looking forward to the future. And you know, it's not just a, let me throw this out. This doesn't work. Then it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? So we communicate. I talk to him at least two or three times a week, obviously on conference calls, even on personal calls from texting him, asking him for some advice or something like that. Um, you know, he's definitely there. So What have you learned most from 50 quickly? What have you learned most from him? Um, the four, the four um, things, the four elements, the four things that you need to become – or to be a superstar. And coins aren't one of them, so go over a couple of them. No, it's actually five because now because you need coins. But <laughs> the four, the four was you need to have personality, appearance. You know, you gotta be gorgeous. You know, like me. You know, what I'm saying. Sure. You need no personality, homo. appearance. You need material, which is your music, mm-hmm. great material, and you need performance. And the performance is. Overlooked okay. almost every time. Exactly, cool. exactly. So people who give great live shows, a person who's attractive or has a presence. You know, you can even say like, uh, like a notorious. He was fat, but he had a presence. You know, what I'm saying like he had a great swagger. Look. Exactly, he had swag. You know, what I'm saying. Then, then you got um, when I say uh, personality. You know, in your interviews, you gotta, you know, you gotta have that. You know, you what have I'm saying? to do. It, otherwise, we don't want to play your record. Exactly. Then you're nothing. Right. But the foundation is the material. Absolutely. So, so that's those are yeah. really good pieces of advice. And yeah. take it from fifty who's done all of those. It gives great shows and I mean yeah. your bangers are gonna help you get the good shows. Exactly. So exactly. we wish you luck with the hot girl record. This thing's gonna blow up. It's the high energy, it's what is in right now. So expect to find it the new it through drive through mix. Best believe and then in rotation. 120 spins a week, swag. All that. All that. And then Hot Rod's going to come back with free shows and free coins and free women and all that. A plethora of all that. Other Legend- things. It's so legendary, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, we, we, we also doing something with the DJs. You know, I'm starting a, uh, a DJ crew camp. You know, something mm-hmm. like Shadyville or like Bomb Squad. It's called Legendary DJs. So all the DJs out there, you know, holla at me, holla at my management. You know what I'm saying? Um, on Twitter, I'm at official Hot Rod. Um, my manager is at Cody Creasy. Um, my DJ at DJ Slippy. So hit us up. We going ham. Yes, and don't find any of his pers- or his tweets offensive because he Please. goes pretty freaking ham margera <laughs> with the tweets. <laughs> so just like fifty, just don't take it personally. He might be drunk. It's exactly. All good. Exactly. It's all good. Hot Rod, thank you for uh, for Appreciate coming through, it. man. Appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you in AZ soon, my brother. My man. Yada da yee. Gucci. One one five. <laughs>